All right, this is Mike with Trike with Mike, Texas. It's a veteran of the U.S. Navy. I was on a submarine during the Cold War. Time to time, I'll tell you a sea story. All right. Now, arriving at your boat, if you're a new guy, non-qual, uh, brand new to submarines, and not a nuclear-powered guy, all right, or not some guy that somehow got some shore duty first and comes in as an E5. So, pretty much everybody, though, it's just that's a rare occasion. Uh, you fall into that category, non-nuke and and uh, hey. Nanuke and, uh, you know, forward per person, E4 and below, you belong to the cob. Doesn't matter if you're a sonar guy or a torpedo man or a quartermaster or ET or fire control, machinist mate, when you first get there, you belong to the cob. Now, Depending on the needs, uh, your time might be more limited than other people's time. Uh, just depends on how short the department is. But either way, you're still going to have some time with the cub. And so that happened to me. I don't remember. It was probably about three or four months total part of it at sea and part of it in port in port you're assigned to deck division which is the cobs division uh, it's more than just the stuff for top side it's it's the all the blankets on the boat it's it's basically cobs kind of like the HR assistant to the XO uh, so, all your bunk spaces, your pillows, your blankets, your bunks, everything's assigned by the cob. So, but he also assigns you, uh, you know, the work. So, you know, for his stuff, it's, you know, make sure the ship is in ship shape. That the uh, top side is painted and where it needs to be painted, and it uh, all the stanchions, all the lines, all of that's in good shape. If not, you let him know, he'll look at them. And he'll either tell you to, that's fine, or he'll tell you to, uh, you know, let's order a new one. So you'll spend your days, you know, basically doing all sorts of stuff for the cob. You know, you might have to go up the tender and get some things that he ordered. You may have to take a requisition up there you may have to chip chip paint on the boat for a while and the, when you ferry first get there that's what you're going to get to do chip paint paint chip paint paint but after a couple weeks of that not very long uh, somebody else comes in and lo and behold, you have graduated from paint chipper person to run around and get stuff for the cob person, which is an upgrade. So you'll do that. And when you go out to sea, you're going to be a mess cook. Mess cook is a dishwasher. Um... 
you set the table Oh, it's so nice out today. Uh, you set the tables, you wash the dishes, you you uh, deliver the food. It comes family style, so basically if it's hamburgers and french fries day, you'll have a bowl of french fries and a plate of hamburgers. You drop it on a table of four. It's gone in two seconds. They hand you back the plate and the bowl and you fill it up again. So, but then you know, you're doing the dishes and not the cook's dishes. The cook does his own dishes. So any pots and pans, those are his. But you have the, you know, plates that everybody uses. Cups, plates, you have to do that. And then in, in the, during this whole time, you're qualifying the boat. And, uh, you know, and Cobb wants to see progress every week. And so he'll, he'll say you need two or three signatures this week. And uh, if you don't get it, then uh, you're on his list. It's not a good list. But if you exceed his expectations, and all right, Cobb, yes, Cobb, right, I'm, I'm right on it, Cobb. If, if that's your attitude, you got it made. Cobb's going to like you. Coming around a person here. So if Cobb likes you, then everything's easier after that for the whole rest of the time. So after he's done with you, um, like I said, it could be different for different people. So if you come in and then there's no other new guys for quite a while and your division just needs you and, and not like two of you or three of you, then, uh, you know, you'll be longer. But if you come in and there's a whole bunch of new people right behind you and you already worked your way up a little bit, then, uh, you know, your time will be shorter. So it's just a luck of the draw, really. Um, and if you're an E4, you may stay less time with the Cub versus if you're a E3 and then an E2 and then a E1, you know. The lower you are, the longer Cobb's got gotcha. But so you do all his minion stuff and uh, it pays off. Cobb, Cobb ended up liking me. I was, uh, always did what he wanted and we got my qualifications done on time and so I never had any trouble with the cub. Uh, I know people that did and they would mouth off at them or be real lazy or you know there's reasons he didn't like like you. Well, this water will clean off the mud from the earlier bout. So what else about the... I don't know, I think that's about it for the Cobb if, as a new guy. Um, we discussed qualifications before, maybe not in much detail. We can go over that sometime, but... Um, being a Cobb Minion. Thanks for watching.